So I want a mechanical keyboard. Um, my keyboard right now is trash. It's a 20 euro keyboard and I glued uh, some paper on it because I wanted some macro buttons. I found a keycap set that uh, looks the same as the Animal Crossing Switch dock. And I have that on my desk and I want them to match. So I bought the keycaps first and then I left them for three months, I think. And I just ordered today <laughs> what I actually need to build the mechanical keyboard. The plan is very complicated because I'm French, I need accents. So I need an uh, ISO keyboard and it's really f hard to find for some reason. And I also want a 75 person keyboard, which is one of the rarest size of keyboards um that you can that you actually have kits for it so iso 75 percent well, i haven't done all the research yet i will do it as the big deal progresses you will see i hope at the end my keyboard will be exactly what i want it to be so yeah let me show you the keycaps so the keycaps are by NT Dot Studio. Uh, i bought them on etsy and i think they're still selling them they are PBT, I believe, I'm not too sure, maybe the ABS. Um, and they have the, how was it called, XCA profile or XTA profile. Um, yeah, I should have worked more on my script before recording, um, but here we are. So this is the space bar and of course I bought it mainly for the space bar. There are all the basic keycaps uh, and then there are many with tiny picture on them. Like this one has a tree trunk that looks like it belongs in Animal Crossing. Um, Shift has a net. There are some brown keycaps but not too many. It's mainly white, blue and light green and it matches exactly with this Animal Crossing switch. And that was the whole point. I was worried when I looked at the pictures on Etsy if it would actually match, but it does. It does. The brown is the darker shade of brown. The blue is almost perfect. It's just a tiny bit more saturated and the green is exactly the same. Also, the white is kind of an off-white. Um, it's not as off-white as the, the, the switch dock. Um, it's whiter, but it looks pretty nice next to it, so I'm, I'm not mad. There are some keys that are kind of weird though. Uh, like, why, why is the baby... Um, how do you call that? I don't... I have no idea. Baby bottle? Baby bottle, I think it's baby bottle. Also, the space bar, the blue on the space bar is a tad bit uh, less saturated than the key than the keycaps, so it's kind of sad. But it, it looks nice. It looks nice. It's just not exactly the same color. And then same for the green. It's it's darker, but I like it still. There are enough keycap to make a hundred percent keyboard, um, and there are some more uh, just to mix and match. There's a tiny fish too. I ordered a white enter key because on ISO keyboards, the enter key has a really weird shape, like a seven, um, and I need that one. But other than that, it's not too different from a QWERTY keyboard, A-N-S-I, I think it's called. So it should be fine. And yeah, look at that. And now I just have to wait until all the parts come and then I will have to solder everything because it's not hot swap. I haven't done any soldering since high school, it's been quite a while, but I think it will be fine. Um, I used to be good at it, because that was my major in high school, uh, electronics, so it should be fine, should be fine. I'm not too worried about it, but hopefully everything goes smoothly.
and I have a functioning keyboard, a cute functioning keyboard very soon. Two weeks later. So it's now two weeks later and I've had all day to um, build this keyboard and I didn't because uh, I've been procrastinating because building it is scary. But it is now 7pm and I think I, I really need to do that because it's my only free day in the week. I hope everything is working though because uh, I've had bad luck with the mouse I just bought. It's cute. It's a hamster and it isn't working. Um, I've ordered another one, so we'll see if my bad luck continues or not. I hope not. And uh, let's go. Remember what I say about bad luck? Um, well, I thought I had a USB-C cable. I cannot find it anywhere. That's the struggle of wanting to make a mechanical keyboard when you're in between moves is that all my stuff uh, is in bags uh, I have a notion of bags in my kitchen and in my living room it's you cannot even step in the living room of this house and I cannot find anything now that I think of it I'm not sure I had a USB-C cable
Okay, so I spent a couple of days building the keyboard and it's now working. Um, I just have some stuff that I still need to figure out. First, I have no idea um, how to configure the glow. Um, it's on the bottom side, it's not under the switches and um, I didn't really think about it before turning it on. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to glow. And I really have no idea how to um, configure it anything. I tried with the QMK website, you can uh, add specific keys for your RGB lights, but it, it isn't working. So um, I really don't know how to toggle that off. Configuring everything with the QMK website was actually quite hard. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so difficult. I used the vertical enter key for my enter key. I had this one, which is the right shape, but it's not the right color. It's a very gray, blue, white, whereas this is more of a cream white and it looks really not nice. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but in, in real life, you definitely can tell that it's not the right color. But so far, I'm, I'm really pleased with my new keyboard. It sounds good. You cannot tell with my mic here, but it sounds good. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this kit to beginners. A lot of things were quite painful. <laughs> um, I had a problem with my P key. I think my soldering was fine. It's just that the switch I soldered uh, didn't work. So I had to unsolder that. And um, since it's right in the middle of the keyboard, it was such a pain in the ass. Um, but I did just fine and I was glad I ordered a little bit more switches than I, I really needed. I also really struggled to um, screw the PCB into the case. So I put, I think only three screw out of like seven um, because the screw holes are very deep and the, the screws are very tiny and I just couldn't align them properly. So it's holding fine, but um, well, I won't do that with my keyboard very often anyway, um, but I have to be careful. <laughs> I could add some macros here. So this one is delete, this one is space because I needed another one. Um, this one is control Z, control B, control C, control V and control S. And all of this is for video editing. So that's why I need a space bar just to play the video. But the key cap, the key set looks so good. I love it. Here, my friends, is the final result. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks so nice. And um, although the paint job isn't the best I could do, it's still nice enough that it doesn't bother me. Um, I kind of like actually the fact that the enter key is sort of, um, it looks painted. It, it, it really looks painted. And I like that it looks artsy. And also um, the <laughs> paint job I did for the accent and especially the at key under the zero 
it's kind of lumpy but it, it gives it character i think <laughs> the problem i had with the with turning off the backlight uh, came from the fact that the fn key doesn't work and i think it's well i was unlucky on this build visibly um, so yeah I, I cannot do anything about it so i just put the toggle on the f12 key which i never use and that's fine this video is part one of a series in which i will be customizing all my streaming setup so if you're interested in this please subscribe you will see some more very soon hopefully and if you'd like to see some exclusive content i publish a new video every month on youtube so you can check the description for that here is a full minute of me typing on the keyboard for those who want to know how um, it sounds so here you are and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video very soon bye